It's a question plenty of people have asked. Why didn't Hannibal march on Rome after he'd soundly defeated them at Cannae in 216 BCE? Here are a few of my ideas why. Sieges cost a lot of money, a lot of time and a lot of men. Hannibal didn't have this available to him. I love Rome Total War, but it's not a case of just rocking up with an army and clicking on a settlement. In order to take Rome, Hannibal would have either had to have encircled Rome and starve it out, or launch an assault directly on the walls using siege engines and siege towers. And he didn't have that kind of technology, and he didn't have that amount of men, or even a navy to secure the Tiber or Ostia. And don't forget Hannibal's experience at Saguntum early on in his career, which was much closer to his supply lines, but it still took him a long time to get the siege done. It cost a lot of men, cost a lot of money. You get the idea. And think about Hannibal's strategy up until this point. It had been continued, mobilised success against Roman forces. A siege would have stalled all of this momentum. Imagine those mercenaries or the Gauls from northern Italy. Do you think they would have stuck around for a few years? No, they wanted booty, they wanted success, they wanted victories. Being in one place for a long amount of time would have made things a lot more difficult, presented a whole host of challenges just on that front. Instead, Hannibal did what I think he always intended to do, namely hit the Allies in southern Italy, detach them from their alliances with Rome, and deny Rome their money, their resources, etc., etc., bring them over to his side, and therefore create a sort of power base in southern Italy from which he could expand and ultimately defeat Rome. And it almost worked. 